Hi, if you're new here, my name is Samara. Welcome to my channel. I review luxury handbags and jewellery and occasionally I'll show you how to look and feel expensive on a budget. In today's video, I'll be introducing my new addition to my handbag collection. I'll be sharing my thoughts on the new bag and the price increase. So I'm going to put the unboxing up on the corner here so that you can watch while I'm talking through the bag. But I'm going to show you what it looks like here comes in this cute little dust bag. I've already dirtied it because what I tend to do is when I'm out and about is pop it back into the dust bag when I'm traveling on the tube because obviously I don't want to get marked in London. <laughs> so that's what I do. And look at this beauty. It's called Tan Carnage, but it's got that buttery brown kind of feel to it. I don't think this lighting is doing it any justice. I'm going to try and see if I can adjust it to show you but that's what it looks like. And it's got the little charms at the front. I still haven't taken off the stickers. Look how stunning this is. So I'm gonna run through a few of the points on here. First of all, the capacity size inside the bag, um, the hardware and the lambskin which this comes in. So first and foremost, let's talk about the design. The Lady Dior handbag is the true embodiment of elegance and sophistication. It's compact and the size makes it perfect to wear it from daytime to evening. And that is what I was on the hunt for. So I popped into Harrods and one key thing to remember is that if you want to dress, if you want to shop in complete peace, you have to shop, go into the shops early morning. So I think it must have been on a Monday morning. <laughs> I decided the night before that I was just going to go in and try and find the bag that I want because summer's here and I want you to wear this color bag with all my neutral outfits. That's what I've got on today. Um, and I just needed peace and quiet. So Harrods on a Monday morning is perfect to go into. There's hardly anybody around and it's quiet and you will get served without any disruptions of like people hanging around behind you and that kind of stuff. So that was one, one key thing if you want to go to Harrods and shop in quietness in less um, chaotic environment. Anyway, so because this is such a classic design, you can wear this bag from day to evening. In the daytime, I dress it up with t-shirts and just blue, light blue jeans and just how gorgeous would this look next to it? It just speaks for itself. And in the evening, maybe just, you know, a nice classic black dress, even goes, it got so nice with black but I could just picture myself wearing a full white dress. <laughs> Look at the excitement in my face. But I just wanted to go through what I'm here to show you is the actual design, the pros and the cons. So as you can see, it's got the classic quilted design all throughout. It goes from the front to the back. Obviously it doesn't have it at the bottom, but you've got these two, um, four black round studs and the thing is because it's round and pointed at the end and i'm not sure what the design concept was behind this the bag topples over when you put it flat on the surface so if it had flat um bottoms to this which i know the medium size does and i think the mini does too it probably stay up a little bit more but i'm not sure why they decided to go for that kind of edge Maybe it's a sign, do not put it on the table, do not put it on the floor, <laughs> just keep it on your hands. Um, so moving on, the handles. The handles are really, really thin. Oh, and yeah, that's what it does. That's the only downfall from this is that it does top, topple over. Now, if you put one of the ribbons on, it's less likely to do that, but it still does. It only just holds it up a little bit more just to make it a bit more secure. One thing I didn't know, which I'll tell you now, is when you do this to the back, can you see the C and the D? I never knew that. I got told that when I was purchasing this little design thing on here. The handles is one of the things that irritate me slightly, but I'm okay with that because it's just the way the bag is. But to obviously help you, you could definitely tie up the ribbon to help you a little bit more. Now, in terms of the gold wear, this is a light gold and it's got the CD logo at the bottom of 
each of the clasps here. The charms are in the same finish. And as you can see, obviously I haven't taken, I'm not ready to take the plastic off yet. Can somebody let me know in the comments below? If I keep the plastic on, is it gonna destroy my bag? Do I wanna keep it on as long as I can because I really don't wanna scratch it. And that's the other thing is that it's inevitable, it will get scratched, but I'm trying to keep it unscratched as long as I can. Um, the weight of the bag, it's actually quite a light bag. And when you do wear it as a crossbody, it doesn't dig into your shoulders like the Chanel bag does. Every detail on here just exudes luxury from every angle. Even the stitching on the top of the hand was so delicate and light in the same color. So the other thing was in terms of color, I don't want to get a bit of my ring, are you right? In terms of colour, this is a seasonal colour, which means that they don't have it in all the time. It's not one of their classic colours at all, which I didn't mind because I was on a hunt for a really nice tan bag. Not too brown, not too light, not too blush. And I know they have a blush colour in this, which is lovely, but this suits my wardrobe. And that's the reason why I fell in love with it. I'm telling you in the wrong way around. Um, and in terms of the practicality and the size, I'm just going to read this off my um, notes, which is, because I wouldn't have known otherwise, the dimensions are 20 by 17 by 8 centimetres, or by 8 by 6.5 by 3 inches. So that's the length, the height, and the width. And it's not the most practical bag. You can fit in your essentials, like your card holder, your hand cream, your lipstick, and your phone. But if you're looking for more of a practical bag, then this isn't for you because it's difficult to get in and out of your bag. But because I want to wear this more of an evening bag, it's not going to be that often that I'm going to keep coming in and out of the bag. So the inside of the bag is like this and you have this flap. Right, let me get it on the right way around. So you've got this flap and you have to lift the flap open and the back, it... You can stretch it wide open, but I don't want to ruin the bag. So when you, see, you need both hands for this. When you pull the flap open, it does hit the front of the the handles. What have I got in here? Oh yeah, I've got the open in here. So I'm just going to show you the inside. I've still got the tissue at the bottom of the bag and it's suede lining, which is quite nice. And I'm going to stand up for this. There's also a zip inside if you can see that which is nice to kind of just put your card in there if you wanted something that you want you to keep separated but it is a bit of a nightmare to get in there if you're in a environment where it's not lit that well then you're gonna have trouble kind of finding your zip so the only thing that I have found with the bag is that the zip it's not the easiest to kind of get into if you've got rings like me and i hate to scratch my rings i find that they hit the clasps when i'm getting in and out of the bag because they are quite wide oh there's a card in here i didn't know there was a card in here must have been the authentic country card and it's stuck Oh, okay, so it's a little Dior authentication card and the book. I'm going to keep that in here and put that somewhere safe. And because this is lambskin, it's really, really, really soft. So you've got to be careful. I made one little scratch here and a slight scratch on the handle you have to be really careful with the way you handle this bag so if you're somebody that's quite rough with your bags i'd stay away from this because even the corners of the bags can get scuffed very very quickly if you're not careful in terms of sizing there's three sizes they've got the mini then they have the small and then they've got the medium the medium is a lot more bigger um, they're all, I think, more or less the same price point too. There's not much of a difference. With a mini, it was so small that you couldn't even fit your phone in. So that just defeats the object of me having a handbag because I do want to make use of the handbag, put things in. So the mini was out of the question, although it is a beautiful little bag. So the small is probably the perfect size for me because you can wear it crossbody and it still looks quite cute. It doesn't look too big on you. So I'm going to show you the strap. You've got different types of um, straps 
for different bags. You've got one bag that comes with a chain, which I wanted to stay away from chains because I just wanted something a bit more classic looking. Then you've got the ABCD range. The strap has the lesses which you could um, personalize. That was an option. But then for me, it, I didn't want anything to take away from the bag. So having those extra details on the um, strap just had, was a bit of a distraction for me. So I opted for just a plain strap, which comes with this bag. And the clasps are quite thick, which I do like. It's a lot of like thickness going around. It's definitely adjustable. So depending on your height, you can have the strap adjusted to your size. So with the handbag, you have to put the strap on the outside. So one goes in here and then you put the other class on the opposite side, but on the back. And that way you can wear the handbag. I think wearing the crossbody looks so stylish and practical. And it's so convenient when you're going shopping you want just your hands to be free. So wearing it like this, it's so light and the straps are so comfortable too. I think the size of this bag makes it so much easy to wear it crossbody. And if you don't like that look, you could definitely just wear it on your arms like this with the straps. I still think it looks quite nice. So now let's talk about the price increase. So I think they did a price increase about a month ago, or was it two months? Probably about two months ago. It was on all of their Lady Dior bags. So there's, I think the most of the price increase, especially I think on this, which I wish I had known before I got this because I could have saved myself a lot of money. Whilst it's true that luxury brands periodically increase their prices, Dior increase their prices over two months ago and I think the most that they did was 10% on their bag so the Lady Dior bag was I think around 3,400 and now the price increase is 3,800 I think around so all of the Lady Dior handbags have increased in price and I think if I knew I wish I knew I could have saved myself a lot of money <laughs> so if you're considering purchasing a Lady Dior I definitely think about what it is that you want it for. For me, it was more for date nights and evening wear. Mainly, probably won't wear this on a casual day out, only if I'm going shopping, there's no way I wouldn't want to wear this because I'm constantly in and out of my bag. But for evening, absolutely perfect. In terms of size, I think this is an ideal size. Um, although you're limited on what you can fit in here, it just fits your essentials. And that's what most people want a handbag for, is to fit in your essentials. We're not packing the whole kitchen sink in a bag. So I would say, and I would definitely recommend this small size as opposed to the mini or the large, because again, it's so versatile. And also the other thing I've noticed is with all my handbags, on the handles especially, I make sure if I'm going to be holding it like this, I don't want it to hit my rings. And because my ring is pretty chunky and it's got grooves in it, I don't want it to dent into the um, material, which it has done slightly here. So what I did get was this. Look how pretty this is. And it's like this on the other end. And there wasn't any color that really stood out, but I'm gonna put a little video on here how he styled it. Um, and I'm going to pop back into to Harris and get him to tie the little ribbon on. But if I just show you this against the bag, I think it makes a nice little contrast. So I picked the right one. Um, there, he did show me the blush bag with the blush ribbon and it looks so beautiful. But I think this still sets it off quite nicely. Thank you for joining me for reviewing my small Lady Dior bag if you have any questions or comments feel free to comment below and and in my next video i'm going to be showing you how i will style my new bag hopefully i'll see you then bye